residents living in the Guli Meadows Colonia, it's safe to walk down the street only if it's daylight. They cannot do the same at night since there's no street lights to illuminate the roads. That's about to change thanks to a persistent battle from residents and the vote of Hidalgo County Commissioners. Taking a ride down Joshua Drive in Donna, you can see the infrastructure standing tall and ready to illuminate the streets, something residents have long been waiting to see. It's been mostly like a year or two years ago that we started asking for lighting in our colonia, so we're finally going to get it and we're so excited. The sound of celebration boomed outside the commissioner's court Tuesday morning upon the agreement of guidelines that residents have to follow if they're approved for a street light in January. Our taxpayers are not paying for the light consumption. The people who live, the residents in the colonies are paying for their own light. Because what, the, what the commissioner is doing is they provide the infrastructure they're going to have to allocate some funds for infrastructure in the future. Sanchez is a part of the La Unión del Pueblo Entero organization, also known as Lupe. They have been helping residents push county and state leaders into flipping on the switch for colonias. Right now, the first thing colonias is not going to cost the county uh, only like $7,000 to put the little infrastructure that is missing because uh, the light bulbs are not there, but the poles are there. In the case of Precinct 1, residents from the Guli Meadows Colonia hope the lighting will get rid of unwanted visitors. A few na neighbors have uh, broken into, they have gotten broken into their homes and I know, that, well, myself also had gone broken in. While not all of the colonias have the infrastructure ready to go, Lupe says this opens a gate for other colonias to request lighting on their streets. In Donna, Adriana Candelaria, KVEO News Center 23.